Hey everybody, it's the monitors slash somewhere in DC and mostly known as insert cute witticism. I'm doing my first video here on YouTube, so thanks for watching. Just going to very quickly show you what fun things you could do with Universe Sandbox in case you own it. Uh, like I do, I got it for 250 during the Steam holiday sale, and it's definitely worth the uh, hour or so of enjoyment I've had destroying the universe. So one quick thing you can do, click on this little triple dot up in the upper right hand corner, uh, load up our solar system. Um, you'll see everything rotating around. you got the asteroid clouds here, the inner planets, uh, Jupiter, outer planets, Saturn out here, um, Pluto way out here. Um, so first thing you want to do is rotate the view to looking over the Earth. Um, and then we'll want to click on Jupiter. Where is Jupiter? There it is. And essentially we're going to create a binary solar system. Um, most pl planetary systems in the galaxy or probably universe are binary or even more stars and not single star systems like our solar system. So I think we're just correcting what was ultimately a giant mistake. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, So what we're going to do is we click on Jupiter. You see it's highlighted. Here's a long list of details we can edit. I can actually pause the simulation by hitting this edit mode. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't really need to edit more than one thing. So I'm going to change its mass from one Jupiter, which obviously Jupiter weighs, uh, to one Sun and watch the madness unfold. So immediately you can see this large asteroid it's about to be slingshotted around. Um, if you do this at the right time, you can see the asteroids just going absolutely nuts. They're sucked into Jupiter's pool because they're probably as closer to Jupiter or about equidistant uh, as the Sun, and they just get thrown all over the solar system. Mars is having a bit of a problem. It is now on its way into the Oort cloud. Um, past the Oort cloud and into oblivion. So goodbye, Mars. We really didn't need you anyway. Um, what else is going on? Earth uh, seems to now be roughly in orbit or nearest to Jupiter, so that's a little unusual. And um, Saturn is now close to the Sun, possibly becoming our new uh, Mercury or Venus. Uh, speaking of Mercury and Venus, they have actually their orbits have gotten even closer to the sun. Um, I'm guessing that given time they'll be able to they'll actually crash into it or one of our new suns. Um, let's see, I'm just going to give it another few seconds. Uh, well, let's just go in faith that they're pretty much screwed. So that's it, everybody. I um, just wanted to show you that one fun thing. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do one more. Let's load up uh, our galaxy, it's this one. So they have all these presets you can screw around with, uh, makes it a lot easier. Um, and when you load this one up, it just shows you a nice little picture. These are all independently rendered objects. The center is the core, you can see the spiral arms rotating around this way. Uh, there's a bar here. And we're going to hit play. You can see that every second of the simulation represents 30,000 years, so it, you could say it's sped up a bit. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to pause it this time. We're going to choose the center M. I said choose the center, oh, whatever, um, of the galaxy somehow. Why isn't it? Let me do this. Alright, I guess I'll just see if this works. So we're going to change the Milky Way's mass from 1 Milky Way to, let's say, half the mass or so. Yeah, 0.58, let's go with that. I don't know if that's going to work, but let's see what the hell happens. So, yep, that worked. So what you'll see is uh, the mass of the center mass of the Milky Way just decreased by half, so suddenly the gravitational pull is a lot less, and 
shit, excuse me, stuff starts escaping, like these poor unfortunate stars. Uh, the core is cleared out, and the arm structure uh, kind of goes to hell. So how do we fix that? Well, let's bring it all home. We're going to go, since we decreased it by half, we'll increase the original value by two. And we'll see what that does to our beloved galaxy. So now, suddenly, we essentially increase the mass of the Milky Way by four from a half to two. And it's just pulling in now uh, all these stars from the center. Um, and it'll slowly, probably you'll start to see a new spiral structure emerge, but it depends. And it's just fun to watch. Well, goodbye. <laughs> uh, wow, I wonder where the hell that's going to end up. Wow, I wonder what the speed is. Does it tell us the speed? No. Oh, yeah. 0.05 light speed. 5% of light speed. That's pretty fast. Uh, that's not bad for a star. <laughs> not bad at all. So, yep, this is what happens when the Reapers get their way. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. There's plenty of other fun and cool stuff you can do with Universe Sandbox. It's right now 10 bucks, which I think is a little too expensive. So, wait till it's on sale if you're interested and uh, get it done. And if you do, make sure you check out the Fun Things to Do tab. It teaches you how to do stuff like make Earth the size of the sun, which is completely normal, and explode a moon, which is even more normal. So, later, guys.